What's going on everybody? The original Mako back with some more tier list content and we're going to be doing uh, this every Thursday from here on out. So this is going to be called tier list Thursdays because it makes sense. TT, you know, tier list Thursdays. But today we're going to be talking about uh, fast food. So that should be fun and exciting and I'm sure there will be no arguments at all in the chat. But um, let me know in the comments what type of other tier lists you guys want to see, what type of um, different things you want to see in the tier list videos and I'm sure we can work some of that stuff out so that being said make sure to like comment subscribe plenty more content coming out soon for whether it's tier lists or uh, gunfire reborn or risk of rain 2 or who knows what else uh, a lot of games right now that are that are fun and good so check that out and then check out the links in the description as well in case you want to catch the uh, streams at any point or hop in the discord a lot of cool people on stream. I'm sure um, a lot of you guys would get along and, and always good conversations. Check that out. But that being said, let's get ready to just hop on in to the tier list here. So here we are. And um, I'm sure I'm going to get fr flamed for some of this stuff because some of these I haven't had. Um, but that being said, we're going to just kick it off right at the start here with Arby's. Um, so obviously the I don't know category is if I've never had it, and then we have S through F of rankings. So Arby's, first and foremost, gets an F from me starting off on a good note. They're terrible. Um, I haven't eaten there in like probably seven, eight years now, thank God. Maybe it's gotten better since then, but every time I had it when I was a kid, it was just so, so bad compared to other places and I just it I don't know what else to say about it the food doesn't look appealing um it, it doesn't taste good uh, there's just no really redeeming qualities that I can find there um next up Burger King uh, this is gonna be interesting I'm gonna give Burger King a D it's definitely better than Arby's but I still don't like it very much um if I want to get a burger from fast food place I'd rather have a McDonald's burger a Wendy's burger um, an actual burger places burger like this is like the last place I'd go for a burger and it's called Burger King so that's the problem uh, that's why it's gonna get D next up Boston Market um, I've only eaten here or I've only had food from here like twice uh, I've had their pizza <clears throat> twice and it was actually it was it was pretty good uh, I'm gonna give it a B it was it was really good so I mean I have no complaints about it it's not like elite level and I don't think I've had it enough to put it higher but I think it deserves to be above a C for sure above average pizza uh Bojangles um I've actually never had Bojangles so I can't really give it a rank um I do want to try it at some point though uh, but I've just never had it next up we have B-dubs um <sighs> I'm gonna give him a B I would have put B-dubs in A pretty recently but they changed their menu not too long ago and they got rid of their buffalo chips with cheese and i'd always get their wings and buffalo chips with cheese and but the buffalo chips with cheese were like god tier like sent from the heavens and now they don't have them anymore so that's literally the only thing that's holding this back from an a is that they got rid of those um next up raisin canes s i don't even want to it's just elite the chicken is so good. The fries are amazing. The Texas toast is god tier. Um, the lemonade they have there is really good, even though I don't usually get it, but it is really good. The sauce, um, everything about Cane's is just, uh, I could have it every single day easily and, and not get tired of it. Uh, it's my, f it's controversial, but it's my favorite chicken place um, without a doubt in my mind. So Cane's S tier, easy. Next, Church's Chicken. Never, I'm going to be honest, I don't think I've ever even heard of it. So, I'm sure it's probably just a not in my area type of thing, but it's going in the, I don't know. Chick-fil-A is also going to get S tier. Um, once again, I think Cane's is my favorite chicken place, for sure. But Chick-fil-A is very, very, very good. Okay, they have amazing milkshakes. The chicken sandwiches are elite. The nuggets are good. The uh, fries are good. Everything about Chick-fil-A is also really good. I just don't think it's quite as good as Cane's. So it's going to get S tier, um, but I would probably put it below Cane's for sure. 
Next up, we have Checkers. I don't know. I've never had it. So, another, I don't know. Uh, there's going to be a few of those. There's going to be a few of those. Next up, Chipotle. S tier. Um, I have Chipotle all the time. Had it all the time. I've had it all the time for years. Um, it's really good. I'm a big fan. Here, you'll, you'll, I have said this once in a stream, but I am a fan of Americanized Mexican food, like Chipotle is. Real Mexican food, for some reason, just doesn't do it for me. Like, I'll get some, like, some real, uh, like, nachos, like, authentic Mexican nachos are good, but, like, actual Mexican food just doesn't, isn't my type of thing. So, but Americanized, like Chipotle, boom, sign me up, baby. Uh, CC's Pizza, coming up next. And CC's, I haven't been there in forever, but man, I'm gonna give them an A. I remember oh, all the time as a kid after my summer baseball games, we'd go to CC's, and they had just good pizza. They had pasta. It was like a buffet. They had pasta that was really good. They had this like dessert, this like cinnamon dessert thing that was just so so good. Uh, I I never have a bad memory of CC's pizza, and I haven't been there in forever. I don't even know if they still exist around here. Um, but CC's gets an A for me. It's just really good, really good stuff. Uh, cookout. So cookout's only a Southern thing. And I go to North Carolina every year to visit, um, uh, one of my friends. And actually that trip's coming up in about a month, a little over a month, um, to visit one of my really good friends in North Carolina. And I, that's when I was first introduced to cookout last year. I think it was last year. Maybe it was two years ago, but I've only had it twice. And, uh, but the time I did have it, it was really good. I think I'm going to put it in B, um, which might be controversial. I don't know. I, I don't know how good Southern people think cook. I know my friend was a big, big, like, raving about it. But um, I think I just need to have it more. I just need to try other things, have some more food there, and uh, potentially that could climb the list for sure. Uh, next up, we have Domino's, Domino's Pizza. Uh, that's getting a C for me. Uh, it's an okay pizza place. Um, it's hard to mess up like pizza, so it's hard. To, it, I don't think I could physically put. There's very few pizza places I can't even think of any that I could put below a C. <clears throat> but so it's just very. This is a very average, uh, below par pizza place in my opinion. So Domino's gets a C. Um, their their pizzas is okay. They're like sides that you can get are okay. Nothing crazy. I don't know. Just C. C level food for me. Uh, Dairy Queen is up next. Now, Dairy Queen's interesting because I've only eaten Dairy Queen's actual food like once. But because of all the other stuff, uh, it gets a B. It, the ice cream there is really good. The blizzards, I get the blizzards all the time. But I don't know really how good their actual food is. I don't think it's that great. <laughs> But I don't actually know that. But I know their ice cream is elite. Um, so I'm going to give it a B. Since we're going for the whole the thing as a whole, I don't think the ice cream brings it up enough to put it in an A, but it's damn close. So I'm going to leave that in B for now. Uh, Firehouse Subs. Uh, I just don't think... I think I just haven't had Firehouse Subs enough to give it a, a better rating. Um, mainly because there's a certain sub place that I get every time, which is I'm sure I'm going to get flamed for, but that's okay. Uh, but Firehouse Subs, I'm going to give it a C. It was good from what I remember when I've had it a couple times, but obviously it wasn't good enough to make me want to get it over the other sub place that I always get. So um, Firehouse Subs, a C. <sighs> maybe it could be a, a B or an A. Uh, maybe it could be a B, sorry, not an A, but I just don't think I've had it enough times. Uh, next up, Five Guys Burgers and Fries, and golly gee, man, it gets S tier by a mile. It's the best burger place I've ever eaten at. Um, well, best like known burger place I've ever eaten at. I, I the the only problem with Five Guys, the only like the fries are good, the milkshakes are good, the the burgers are good, the hot dogs are good. The only problem with Five Guys is how f goddamn expensive it is. But, man, it's worth it. It's so good. I just wish the food was a little bit cheaper. But it is so, so good. So, Five Guys, easy S tier, no doubt in my mind. Uh, next up, Hardee's. Never had Hardee's, so I have no idea. Uh, IHOP. IHOP is going to get an A. It's very close to an S tier, but I'm going to give it A. Um, I am a huge proponent 
of having breakfast foods literally whenever. I love breakfast foods. It's my favorite type of food. And IHOP has really, really good pancakes, obviously. Um, but, like, they have a really good smoked sausage meal also. Um, and it comes that comes with pancakes. And I can get, like, the best of everything, the, the bacon. Like, everything there is just good. And you will never find me putting a place that, like, specializes in breakfast food probably below an A tier, maybe B tier. But if you've got breakfast food, I'm already all in. Uh, in and out. I've got a couple in a row here. Uh, in and out. I've never had in and out. I'd like to have in and out because once again, I'm a big fan of burger places. Um, but there's no in and outs around here. Never had it, and um, don't know what it tastes like. Jack in the Box, same deal. No, not F. I've never had it. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know what they taste like. I'd like to try both of them, but we don't really have any around here, so I can't. I don't have a choice. Uh, Jimmy John's, Jimmy John's subs, Jimmy, uh, Jimmy John's is going to get a B, um, it's probably my second favorite sub place, uh, it's, it's good, I like, I mean, it, the, the sub place, every different sub place I go to, I get like a different sub, so, it's kind of hard to compare them equally, but in terms of just like the bread and how it tastes and how much I like it, um, it's probably my second favorite sub place. It's good. It's definitely good, but it's not up in those elite levels of A and S for sure. Uh, Jersey Mike's is going to get the same treatment as Firehouse. I don't think I've had it enough, but the times I have had it obviously haven't made me want to go back and get it more times, really. Um, has potential to climb probably, but it's not going higher than a B for sure. Uh, KFC. Uh, KFC is interesting. KFC is very interesting. Um, KFC is going to get a B. Um, I like KFC. I like KFC's chicken. It's not nearly uh, on the same even remote plane as Cane's or Chick-fil-A. Um, but it's cheap. Uh, it tastes good for what it is. The sides are okay. Um, nothing super special, but it's good. It's good food. And, and I've, I actually tend to eat uh, KFC on that North Carolina trip a lot. Well, not a lot, but usually every time I go down there, there's a we stop at a KFC. So I don't know why, but it just tends to happen. So KFC gets a B, and uh, yeah, like it. Uh, Little Caesars. Little Caesars Pizza is going to get a B. Um, I've had it a few times, uh, but my my biggest memory of, in my head of Little Caesars is I used to, for our baseball team, we have fundraisers, and one of the fundraisers was Little Caesars, um, selling Little Caesars pizzas to people, and uh, so I remember going door-to-door -door doing that all the time, and it was just god-awful. I hated going door-to-door, -door. <laughs> but anyways, um, the pizza is actually pretty good. It's not crazy. Like, it's not super good, like, oh my god, I have to have more of this, but it's cheap. It's really cheap. And um, usually they're pretty quick with, you know, being able to make it if you order it from the store. And um, they sell it, like, frozen that you can get. So it's convenient. And it's just a decent pizza place. So uh, McDonald's next. McDonald's – oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. McDonald's is going to get an S for two reasons. Reason number one, their fries beat every other place's fries that I've ever eaten at in my life. Um, there's not a – I don't think there's a single – other than Cane's, I don't think think that I don't think there's a single fast food place on this list that has one item that's better than like every other place I've ever eaten at. Like Five Guys has really good burgers, but they have the best fast food burgers. I've eaten a better burger at places. Um, like what are other examples? Like pizza. Um, the my favorite pizza place has really good pizza, but I've eaten better pizza at like a, a local shop and stuff. McDonald's fries are better than every other place's fries I've ever ever eaten at. Um, they're so they're so good, they're addicting. And uh, reason number two that McDonald's gets S tier is there is not another place on this list and not another place I can think of where you get more food for your money. I eat a lot of food, despite my size. I, I eat a shocking amount of food. And I can get enough food to fill me up and have probably a little bit extra at McDonald's for cheaper 
then I can get like just a burger at, at and a milkshake at Five Guys and some fries, which wouldn't fill me up by the way. I usually if I have if I'm feeling like oh I can spend some money today, when I go to Five Guys I'll get the uh, regular size the the which is the double patty bacon cheeseburger. I'll get a hot dog. I'll get uh, one of their fries and I'll get a milkshake. Then their hot dogs are pretty big, uh, and that that usually fills me up. And that's like thirty five bucks <laughs> at McDonald's for thirty five bucks. I could probably feed a a, a full family, um, probably not including me. Most of my meals at McDonald's are like twenty, but I get like three things, like three different entree type things. Like it, it's just you can get so much food for the money and it's not bad food either. I mean, it's bad for you, but it's not taste. It tastes good. So, <laughs> all right. Uh, enough ranting about McDonald's. Just the amount of food you can get is for your money is so crazy there. Uh, Moe's never had it. I, there are Moe's here. I just don't think I've ever wanted to eat there over other places. And I've never, my family's never gone there. So I just don't really have an experience with Moe's. Uh, Panda Express. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, Panda Express gets D for me. The only time I've eaten it is when my parents would have Chinese and, and then they got Panda Express. I don't like Chinese food. I'm not a big fan. I'll have, like, sesame chicken is okay, but that's about it. That's about all I would eat from Chinese food. So uh, Panda Express gets a D purely because of it, the fact that it's Chinese food, and that's just not my thing. Uh, Panera. Panera gets a C. I don't – Panera is just not really my style of food. I don't know. Um, I'd usually get like a sandwich there and it just wasn't, it was okay. It was just like a sandwich. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, nothing special about it or anything. So I don't know. I just don't think Panera is quite my style of, of food. So it, it's going to get a C just average, uh, probably closer to a D honestly. Um, next up Papa John's, uh, Papa John's S tier. Papa John's is my favorite pizza place. Uh, I think the pizza is so good. If you go, oh. Every time I get a large or an extra large, uh, half just cheese, half with pepperoni and bacon, and I do light sauce, because I feel like sometimes pizza places really just put too much sauce on, and it takes away from all the other ingredients, so I go light sauce, so you can get just a hint of the sauce in there, oh, and it's so good, Papa John's Pizza is amazing, um, their garlic breadsticks, elite, uh, so good, their dessert, the um, cinnamon, I think they're called pull-aparts, are really, really good. They just hit the hit the right notes in every single category. So Papa John's, for sure, my favorite pizza place. Definitely get, deserves the S tier, uh, without a doubt. Next up, we have Pizza Hut. Now, <laughs> Pizza Hut's going to get an A from me. The reason Pizza Hut's going to get an A, I mean, their pizza's okay. It's not bad. I'd eat it. But it's not A tier pizza. Oh, excuse me. I just woke up not that long ago, if you can't tell. Um, their pizza's not A tier. But I'm putting them in A tier because they're breadsticks. I haven't had them in a while, so may, hopefully they haven't changed them. But I remember Pizza Hut's breadsticks used to be like this long, and and with the, their 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 marinara sauce was just. I would uh, murder a kitten probably to to have those breadsticks. Those breadsticks are like crack. It was crazy. Um, so their breadsticks push them from a B to an A easy. Even though their pizza is definitely not A tier, their pizza is probably B, leaning towards C. Um, but but the, those breadsticks were heaven on earth. So um, <clears throat> Pizza Hut definitely gets an A. And next up we have uh, Popeyes. <clears throat> Sue me, but I've actually never had Popeyes. Um, I do want to try it. Um, I I you know. All the memes about their biscuits being so dry. Um, I, I would like to try Popeyes at some point. I really like chicken, so it, it would make sense to want to try it. And I should try it. Maybe I'll try it soon. I should. But anyways, I've just never had Popeyes, so I can't rank it. But um, yeah, I think this is Qdoba, maybe. I don't know what it is, but I've never had it. Um, Qdoba sounds like it might be right, but I've never had it. <clears throat> Steak and Shake. Oh boy. So I'm about to get flamed for this. But I'm going to put Steak and Shake at a B. Their their milkshakes are really, really good. But here's the thing. It says right on the logo, famous for steak burgers. 
every time I go to Steak and Shake, the only thing I get is their grilled cheese. Now, now listen, that started when I was a kid, but I'm telling you, man, their grilled cheese for some reason is just so good. I just have to get it when I go there. Like, it's just such a good grilled cheese. And the fries are really good, so that helps them out. But I've never tried, like, one of their steak burgers. And I should. I should do it. I'm I'm almost 21. I should probably expand my palate a little bit more at Steak and Shake. But there, I just can't get over how good their, their uh, grilled cheeses are. So that's what I always get when I go there. Um, but anyways, I digress. Steak and Shake is a B. Their milkshakes are elite absolutely god tier milkshakes for sure uh sonic never had it <clears throat> shake shack hello never had it um subway subway's gonna get a <laughs> i can't quite put it in s but it is my favorite sub place for sure Subway's what i get all the time um <clears throat> a lot of people don't rag on subway i don't know i like subway i think it's really good i think it, it's it's pretty cheap um so I don't know. I'm a big Subway fan. I like their food, like the subs, uh, and I get it all the time when I want subs. So definitely A tier. It's not quite S tier. It's not on the level of these these guys. So uh, keep it an A, but it definitely deserves the A. Taco Bell. <clears throat> Taco Bell is going to get D. It's almost like a Burger King for me. Like I just don't like – I don't know. The only thing I like from Taco Bell – is and i don't know if they still have them but they were called like cinnamon twists or something like the little crunchy cinnamon things that you could get for dessert that's like the only thing i liked from taco bell i've tried their food multiple times and it never ever does it for me so <clears throat> it's not quite as bad as arby's uh because it at least had those cinnamon things as a redeeming quality but it's not it's not good it's not good for sure uh next up <clears throat> whataburger never had it going in the i don't know category waffle house Why is it? What the heck? Why is it like behind? Whatever. Waffle House <clears throat> is going to go in A. Now, <clears throat> this is towards the bottom of A. It's closer to B. And like IHOP is definitely closer towards the top of A if we're comparing breakfast places. But but I, something about, obviously, you walk into a Waffle House, it's like a rundown, beat up place. It's a real small. But man, their chocolate chip waffles. <sighs> Something about them hits so different, and the fact that you know it is a rundown kind of place, the atmosphere just kind of feels feels right. I don't know. It it, it it's it's. I can't really explain it, but it it's just you know when you're going to a Waffle House, you know what you're expecting, and you always get what you're expecting every time, and it's just good. It's just good food. Um, like I said, breakfast place. I'd probably never put a breakfast place below B for sure, but Waffle House, man, they are good. They their their waffles are fantastic. Their their other things that you can get there are really good. So Waffle House definitely gets an A um, from me, without a doubt. I haven't been to one in a while, but it's good. Uh, next up we have Wendy's. Uh, Wendy's is gonna get an A, I think. Um, <clears throat> it's also probably a little bit closer to B. But the Frosties are really good. The fries are good. Um, they're, they're very average fries. They're probably B to C tier fries. The Frosties, though, are definitely A to S. Uh, their burgers are good. I do like Wendy's burgers. Their spicy chicken nuggets are their redeeming quality that puts them in A. Their spicy chicken nuggets are so good. Um, can't compare with anything else. Like The spicy chicken nuggets at Wendy's are absolutely the best. So that's what definitely uh, gives them the A slot in the A tier. Um, instead of like a B or, or something that and their frosties are give them the A their burgers are B and their fries are like B C tier. So Wendy's overall though gets an A for sure. And then which, which, uh, looks like some sort of san yeah, su superior sandwiches. I can't quite read that. Never had it. I've never even heard of that. Which, which, I wonder if that's a, I, I do not think we have those here. But maybe, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know where those are. Uh, I kind of want to look it up after this, though. And then Zaxby's Chicken, I've actually never had. Once again, I don't, I don't think we have Zaxby's around here. But I do want to try it. It's one of those things, especially 
all of the burger places I haven't tried, and then all of the chicken places I haven't tried. I do want to try them, which is like most of these, <laughs> like Bojangles, um, Popeyes, Zaxby's for chicken. I want to try them. Uh, in and out, in and out, and Jack in the Box. I want to try it. Um, Shake Shack, I'd be down to try, but I'm not like soup like In and Out, Jack in the Box, Zaxby's, Bojangles, and Popeyes are the ones on this, I don't know, list that I would really, really want to try, that I'm interested in, but I just never have. So if you've had them before, let me know where you would rank those, and then let me know why you think this tier list is wrong, and I'll explain to you why you're wrong about it, because this is absolutely beautiful. Um, I can't I can't think of any, any better tier list than this right here. So um, that's my tier list for fast food. Like I said, every Thursday we're going to be doing this, so let me know what type of... Uh, things you want to see on the tier list. We can probably find a tier list for damn near everything. Thank you, Windows. I'm not updating you. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys want to see and let me know where you would move some of these restaurants. But hopefully you find this interesting. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe. We'll be back next week with another tier list. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. I love each and every one of your faces and I'll catch you guys in the next video.